Well, look at this. Fox All Access, Chris Leary, and I guess you know these people. They're the judges. American Idol, back again for another season. If you could do me a favor and give me three adjectives for this season. Hard. Intriguing. <laughs> Exciting. Oh, good. There you go. Throughout the ages and all through time, a question has been asked but never answered. But this time, it's asked in a really nice way, if it's love. Okay, these guys sing it. This is Train. Train, welcome back to Fox All Access. Great to have you. Thank you. Thanks for wow. having us. That's great. Now, um, let's... T- <laughs> <laughs> you wanted more enthusiasm. No, huh? I know. I expect exactly what I get from you fellas every <laughs> single time. Do not record what this filthy man is doing. Filthy. Hey, guess what? We got a new season of The Cleveland Show. Wait for, the, wait for the applause to die down, and great. It's a wonderful thing. I mean, to recognize talent and, and to see the talent really go to work doing something that they're meant to do, just like any of us. You know, like you're doing this. You're good with people. You're quick, quick-witted. You know, you've got a, a certain charm and a knowledge of how to do this thing. That's a gift, you know. Well, what are you learning about? Obviously, they, they learn about you. You know, you guys you all all been in the industry. What are you learning about the contestants? What are they teaching you? Uh, that they're a lot more talented now than they were 30 years ago. A lot more talented. They got savvy. They got chutzpah. They got stones to come out and do what they do in front of us and take the brunt of our, of our judging them. And it's just, it's turning out some great talent. Aerosmith talking about stones. Didn't think I'd get that reference. <laughs> <laughs> stones to be an Aerosmith. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now, I'm going to catch you on this. And Please. I'm glad you, I like you, you led me into this. Uh, Customers. Sometimes you have a customer who's like, boy, they're hard to please. Yeah. Kids. Yeah. Kids. Some of them. They, it's like, now yeah. I'm not hungry. This is terrible. How do you how do you deal with those customers? Yeah. You have to deal with all three of them. Yeah. Good question. And um, children eat with their eyes. They don't like the look of things. They sort of push it aside. So we sort of, in our household, we bribe them. I'm very naughty with Jack because uh, three weeks ago he was uh, messing around with his carrots at Sunday lunch, and I just said, look, come here. He came down to the table and said, mate, if you don't start eating those carrots. Your little man downstairs is not going to work. So he just lifts up his box of shorts and starts spooning in these carrots. <laughs> Shouts across the table, it's working, Dad! Brilliantly. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Uh, a lot of people's grandmothers, you know, collect yeah. antiques, because it's a grandma thing to do. Do you have any hobbies? His interview is officially over. He, like, he collects antiques, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> no, I, I love antiques, man. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? It's, it's, the, it's the thrill of the hunt. <laughs> I like things that you don't see everywhere else, man. Who you, I don't want to walk in my house and see the same chandelier that you have in your house. There are no chandeliers in my house. Exactly. <laughs> You're a renter. You rent an apartment anyway. <laughs> you yeah, did. You, yeah. You're right on. Exactly. You're right on You're track. Right on. You did your homework. This guy's good. He is. I don't know about the other guys, but this guy's good. <laughs> this... Look at this. We have Rob Thomas in the studio with us. Yay, me. Clear, clearly no no studio audience, yeah. but you're here. Nice. I'm thinking you sit there on the phone going, hey, yeah, get me Daughtry on the phone. I've got something really important to talk to him about. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll wait. I, I, well, I, yeah, I get, when you when you uh, start doing well in music, you get your rock star card in the mail. And we all we all get them. <laughs> and, so, and you get like a, a black book that's got every famous musician's number in it, and you call them up, and you hang out at the pool, and you know. In your d- decoder ring and everything? Yeah, everything. Go, wow. Yeah, everything. You, get, you know the secret handshake. <laughs> What you're currently looking at is a clothing line called Abby Dawn. It's created by a young lady who, by her own admission, at least in her song, is a girl who gives a damn. <laughs> and I mean this when I say this, uh, wish you were here. That's also the title of Avril Lavigne's song. This is Avril Lavigne. Welcome to Fox All Access. Hello. That was an awesome introduction. <laughs> I don't know much about women, and there's a lot of people <laughs> that can tell you that, but I do know this. When you're trying to get through those hard times, the one thing women really need... Flowers. Well, okay, other than flowers, clothing, and uh, let's talk about... Abby Abby Dawn. Dawn. No, 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 oh my God, I've seen... I understand. Oh, 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 she was about to go off on me. It's like, I, I'm not going to mess with Cloris Leachman. No, don't mess with me. <laughs> I feel Darren. like I'm on a channel I don't want to be on. Darren. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, a lot of our guests say that. No, 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 listen. Huh. It is nice. This is Justin Bieber, by the way. We got kicked off the lawn. Yeah, we got kicked off the lawn, kicked off in the in the studio. So we're in the car. I, I would love to say that we set this up, but we didn't. And this is what we got, and uh, this is what so you're going to get. Good looking, good, great voice, 
good personality. I hadn't thought of that. You are one smart cookie. But listen, That's, you too can be a pop star. How's that? All you have to change is everything you are. L.A. <laughs> Reid. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a sharper knife in the drawer. So if they clap on the upbeat, I'm going to have to just rethink choreography and start doing everything on the upbeat instead of the downbeat. You understand? I understand How that. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you clap on up or down? I don't even know. Back. Back. Backbeat. Ooh, the backbeat. Backbeat's very important. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's got a backbeat. You can't lose it. I love the backbeat. That's my favorite. <laughs> big, big, big deal. My favorite mistake, Paul Abdul. And, my uh, pro <laughs> yes, and my, one of my favorite Fox shows. All access, thank you, darling. Thank you. you. The Americans have actually put the stereotype as drinkers on Irish people. We didn't actually do it to ourselves, and you yeah. make us drink all the time. Yeah, so. here, it's like, you guys are Irish. Let's do shots. <laughs> shots, shots, shots. Straight away. My last name's Leary, so I guess they're they're pushing they're pushing that on on us Americans. I, I, I would. Have... That's actually if you're saying you were really drunk, you say Jay's always Leary last night. Yeah. Are you serious? Are you joking, yes. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Well, serious. mom's gonna be proud of that. Yeah. <laughs> Carl Weathers plays coach, dad on uh, on brothers on yes. Fox, and uh, thank you so much for being with us. And if you don't man. mind doing me a favor, of course, yes. the end of Rocky too. Rocky, yes. you ch you trained Rocky. I did. Uh, for a favor, and at the end, you remember. Uh, what you said at the end where you two were in the, the ring together alone with no one looking in. Oh, I, I remember the very last words. What were they? Ding, ding. Perfect. <laughs>